watching sports on Shaw TV. Welcome back to the show. If you're just tuning in now, we've been hosting with the Edmonton Magic Club, and we have another trick for you. This is Shelby Cragen, and Shelby, what are you going to do for us? I have a real miracle for you. <laughs> a real miracle, okay. And that's I a pin? I have a needle with a piece of, of ribbon on it. Okay. I'd like you to poke yourself and just make sure that it's so a, audience a real home. needle. You can see, I'm not going to draw blood, but yes, it's real. Okay. Uh, ninjas have a, a theory that if uh, they uh, think hard enough to become invisible, they can pass through walls mm -hmm. and things like that. So it's it's a mind mental thing. Okay. But I I do this just to show you that it's it's really a magical thing. Okay. So the, give it a spin. So just so our audience so knows, the hole was already through the box. So and we saw you put the pin through the hole. And now I'm spinning it, so we know it's it's there's, it's there. I'm you showing know, you exactly what I see. Now you you say to me, well, that's nothing so great about that. It's a paper box, yeah. so the needle is going to go through okay. very quickly. But you didn't notice that. What's the? You have a solid block of brass inside <laughs> that box. Is there a hole in? No, Shelby. What'd you do? I used my mind. You bull, come on, <laughs> tell us. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's magic. Yeah, yeah, I don't, you know, to a certain point, <laughs> I like magic when you really stump me, I just get frustrated. Well. But if you want to get frustrated and help a good cause, come down to Abracadabra May 5th. More information ticks on the square. Thank you Thank so you. much. Up next, we're going to check out some of our Triple A midget hockey players with Jordan Greenlee. The TELUS Cup is in the Duke this week, featuring the six best midget boys hockey teams in Canada. They're the top midget players in Canada, and a lot of them will be moving on to play in the Western Hockey League, the Quebec Major League, the Ontario League, or even going to college as early as next year, So, or Tier 2 looking to go to college too. So it's it's very good hockey, and it's uh, they don't leave anything. They go, they hit everything that moves, and by the end of the week, they'll be tired, tired boys. As they battle it out for the title of best team in the country this week, it's a mixture of emotions playing on the top stage for these players. Well, uh, at the beginning here, it felt uh, didn't really set in much. So uh, as the tournament goes on, I think we'll do a better job of uh, being ready in that. But uh, I think that uh, this is a long journey and we're just young, so we just need a little bit longer and we'll be trying to go for the weekend. It's a little, a little different of a routine. Uh, we had pictures before the game and um, obviously not ideal, but uh, but no, I think I think uh, we're not the only team going through it. So I think which, whichever team is uh, can can fight through it all week long, and uh, and just being resilient and uh, playing their game is going to come out on top. Most of these guys play in a league where there might be a hundred people out, other than playoffs. So this is really special for them. I think it's something they'll remember for the rest of their lives. The tournament is happening all week long at the Leduc Recreation Center, with big crowds and a high level of support expected out all week long. For our community, Leduc, which is 25,000 to host this event, traditionally it goes to way bigger cities and they have way bigger arenas than the rest of it, but Hockey Canada decided to give us a try and try to have the arena full most of the time and that's what we're trying to do. The round robin wraps up on Thursday and Friday and then semifinals and finals are on Saturday and Sunday. For more information on the tournament, visit HockeyCanada.ca. Jordan Greenlee, Shaw TV, Capital Region. Thanks very much for that, Jordan. Stay tuned in just a second. Rochelle's not in here right now. We're going to throw her back in the box. Throw her, actually throw her. And then we're going to put two of these, one through this side, one through this side down here. As you can see, it goes straight through. And then some spikes. Stay tuned. We'll see if she survives. Now it's time for your sports board. First, catch the Edmonton Rush take on Toronto at Rexall Place this Saturday. The game starts at 7 p.m. sharp, and if you bring some non-perishable food for our Fill the Food Bank's food drive, you'll get a free Edmonton Rush poster. Just find me at the game. Soccer fans, make sure you catch the FC Edmonton taking on the Vancouver Whitecaps for the Amway Canadian Championship. Game day is May 2nd at Commonwealth Stadium. And with soccer now getting into full force, check out the FC Edmonton again on May 6th when they play the Carolina Railhawks at Clark Field. Check out Ticketmaster.ca for more information. So, we'll be right back after this and we'll see if Rochelle survives. 